And that's what it looks like. Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I want to show you how to make this amazing pot stand for the fuel bowl, as well as for any other pot over an open fire. Stay tuned. To make this project, you're going to need a few simple things. First of all, just a half inch large washer, and you're going to need four threaded rods. And these are the 10 by 24, and you can see the size right there. Of course, this is uh, the United States, so these are not metric. And then you're going to need some hex nuts. And of course, these are also, these are also 10 by 24 uh, to match the threaded rods. You're also, of course, going to need your amazing T-ball that we made in the last video. And then, of course, your alcohol and a pot to boil in. The next thing we're going to do is get out 12 of the hex nuts and then we're going to put the first hex nut on and we're going to run it about halfway. These are 10 inches long and so we're just going to do this all the way until we get to the halfway point. We're going to do that to all four of them. Alright, so when we get all four of these done and these are just approximations, this is not uh, precision. So these don't have to be exactly in the, in the same spot. What you want to do is gather all four of them together, like this, and then you slide the washer over top of all four, just like that. So that's what we're looking for, so the washer. And what this does is these nuts will help protect it from sliding off and will help keep the stand together. Next we take another one of the hex nuts and we go to what will be the top of the stand and we put the nut on and we take that down all the way about two inches or so. And of course you can adjust these to however big you want your pot stand to be. And this one will go down about an inch. Just like that. And we'll do that to the other three as well. When you get it all done and put together and the nuts on, it will look something like this. Setting it up is quite easy. You simply spread out all four of these, making sure that they are equal on all sides. And it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's not that hard to do. When you have it spread out properly, you'll see a little square hole in the center. And that way you know you have the legs adjusted right. So the unique thing about this is that it's adjustable for height as well as the size of your pot. So if you want to have a smaller pot to go on top, you simply push these all in. It raises it a little bit, but not significantly. Also, if the ground is uneven, because these are threaded, you simply take and turn whichever one you need to adjust your level, and that will adjust a little, the height a little bit, but it will also make sure that your pot is going to set level on your fire or on the ground. Of course, you would start your fire in, around, and under this. I uh, wouldn't rest, necessarily recommend setting it down on top of the fire if it's already going. But uh, this is a great uh, way to cook, and like I said, it's, it's very adjustable. All right, so how does this work with the fuel bowl? So once you get this adjusted to the height you want where your pot will set on it, whatever pot you want, and you've got it all leveled up, then what you want to do is you take the fuel bowl and you pour your fuel in first. Of course, we've got our alcohol with a little salt mixed in it. And of course we want to make sure that we're using denatured alcohol and we pour it in here. Now this will hold the whole two ounces. So we go ahead and just take our time, make sure it soaks in good and pour it in evenly. Give it plenty of time to soak in. So we want a good steady flame. All right, there we go. Fuel ball is soaked. It's not dripping, so we're in good shape. We don't want it to drip. Then we come under the edge and we wrap it around. Go around this way and around this way. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to use up some of the length of our chain so that it will hang as close to the bottom of the pot as possible. So this is what it looks like. And we have the fuel ball attached to the bottom. Now before you light it, it's important that you go ahead and put your pot on top just because it will flame up on you and then of course it's a simple matter to light it takes off pretty good and uh, we have our pot stand and it works quite well 
as you can see uh, I tested it earlier and in this configuration it will boil water in about four and a half minutes so that's that's pretty impressive for an alcohol stove that's actually much quicker than most stoves one of the advantages to this stove is that it doesn't scorch the ground and of course you know you're going to have to adjust for wind currents and you could put a windscreen around it if you wish but uh, because it's a ball it puts out a really great hot flame and uh, it's fairly wind resistant and of course the way it's right now you would uh, just be able to pick it up and pour your hot water and I think that's a big improvement. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below just under the down arrow. And while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up to take great survival and bushcraft training classes here at our beautiful facility in Southern Ohio. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.